Now, logical operators are used to combine conditional statements. You can write as many conditions as a single if statement as you'd like. Depending on the logical operators used, the if statement may or may not run due. Let's look at the three logical operators we can use. The first one is logical operator AND. The AND logical operator is to, sh to ensure that when you check multiple conditions, both sides of the condition are true. This means that if either the condition to the left or right of the AND is false, then the code will not run the block of, of code. So let's try an example. Go ahead and run that cell. The output will result in both statements were true, because x is less than y and the same value as z. Please know that you can have as many conditions in one line as you'd like. The next operator is OR operator. The OR logical operator is used to check for one or both conditions to be true, such that if the condition to the left is false and the condition to the right is true, the block of code will still run because at least one condition was true. The only time an IF block will not run using an OR operator is when both conditions are false. So let's check out an example. Go ahead and run that cell and notice that we get an output of one or both statements were true. This worked even though our second condition is false, since x is equal to z and we are checking if it was not equal to it. However, since the condition on the left is true, it runs. The next logical operator is NOT. In certain instances, you'll want to check for the opposite of a value. The NOT operator is used for just that. It essentially returns the opposite of whatever the current value is. So let's try it out. If you run that cell, you'll notice that the result output is flag is false. This is due to the NOT operator, which took the opposite value of false and made the condition return true. And we get the same result if we write if flag equals false. Now some words about membership operators. Membership operators are used to test if a sequence appears in an object. There are two keywords that we can use to check if a value exists in an object or not. Let's check them out. When you want to check if a given object has a value appear in it, you use the IN operator. The best use case is checking for a certain value within strings. Let's check, check out an example. If we run that cell, the resulted output is baseball contains the character B. This is case sensitive, but luckily for us the word baseball has one lower case and one upper case B. Another membership operator is not in. Likewise, if you want to check to see if an object does not include a specific value, you would use the not in operator. This is essentially just checking the opposite of the in operator. Let's see. If you run the cell, the resulting output is baseball does not contain the character X. It simply checks to see if the character X is not included in the string value of our word variable. 